slide. I got no track. The front wheels are wore out. Slay ride in, I bet. I bet it'd slay ride pretty good anyways. Well, my furnace fans are not running. Wonder what the deal with that is. Probably because the fire ain't hot enough. About to go out on me, wasn't it? We'll get a little wood put in here and get started. Oh, let the glow plugs heat up. you're new to snow plowing or haven't done much using a rear blade i like to use a rear blade um what we'll do like on a driveway like this we can start down the middle angle the blade roll to that side when we come back up we'll roll it to that side or if you wanted to put it all to one direction you could turn your blade and start on one edge and keep working it across as you go down and back um in a deep snow with a small tractor you'd want to turn the blade around backwards and push backwards that way you're not driving through the snow and you get a little better traction you're kind of clearing your path as you go a little harder on the neck but we'll head down the middle and roll to that side roll to this side maybe uh, probably three to four passes um, we'll have it cleaned up and then we'll clean down here in between the cars you can turn around and push backwards on it
three passes, one down the middle and then one up and back on each side. And that got this driveway cleaned out good. That's uh, probably about a little over a 10 foot driveway. Uh, next we'll turn around and push all this snow back that direction with the blade turned backwards. Probably just might turn it and angle it one way just a little bit. Um, that way it doesn't wind row it between. Got just a little slight angle right there and that way I'll start on this upper edge and uh, keep pushing back and it won't wind row it up so much. that blade just a little bit while doing that and started up there and worked my way down um that kept it from leaving little ridges on the edge where it'd roll off the end of the blade if i'd have had it straight it left a little ridge in between each one of the passes most likely so that kind of helps clean it all up in one trip but i got a feeling it's gonna freeze and be slick in a little bit our tv over there running the battery was weak on it um when you're using these rear blades, don't be afraid to angle them. That, that, that angling right there, that's that's your friend when you're plowing snow to get the snow to go where you want it to and to do things efficiently. You might have to adjust at different times and different ways and different conditions, but uh, take advantage of that angle. Don't just set it and leave it set one way unless you're, you know, driving a good, plowing a good straight driveway. But every circumstance, every driveway, especially around here where you have possibly a bank on one side uh, a high bank and then a drop off on the other like this normally you want to roll your snow towards the drop off um, every situation is different but uh, you know around here you just got to be careful getting around the edges of the driveways and stuff to about sliding over the hill you don't want to drop off the edge and take off scooting but uh, I highly recommend a three-point rear blade for scraping snow I've used one for years and years and years started off with dad's john deere using one and uh you know if i had to pick one thing to move snow with it would be a three-point rear blade no no doubt that's what i would pick for us now for our area and what we do that's what it would be but if y'all will please like subscribe comment i uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next one